Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Nuevamente acá en el W Santiago pasándolo bomba con un invitado que va a ser de lujo porque mi querido Guille, estamos hola, hola. en Brand Talking nuevamente. Con Otro los... programa más de nuestro Brand Talking, querido. Sí, señor. Oye, déjame decirte algo, mi querido Guille. ¿A qué no sabes qué? Cuénteme, ¿con qué me va a sorprender hoy día? Compadre, hoy día vamos a hablar en inglés. No, me cagaste. No, no. Yes, sir. You have to say. Yes, bueno, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Oye, y a diferencia de otros programas, Guille, ¿sabes qué? Esta vez, no sé tú, ¿eh? pero yo por lo menos voy a hacer preguntas. No voy a poner <risa> temas porque de este tema que vamos a hablar yo no sé mucho. Y lo que necesitamos es que ojalá ustedes hagan preguntas también, ¿no es cierto?, a través de, eh, de la línea, a través de zappinglatan.com, a través de brandtalking.cl, porque la verdad es que tenemos eh, un very important guest. Excelente. Es ¿Ah? Brian Salt. Hey, Hi, Brian. Hey. Hello, hello. Hey. Oh, me salió bien. Okay. Hey, muy bien. Hey, ustedes me van a preguntar ¿quién, quién es Brian Salt y por qué está aquí. Déjenme contarles. Brian vive en Chile desde uh, hace un tiempo y ha trabajado en la vanguardia tecnológica desde hace más de 25 años. ¿eh? Es reconocido por llevar la tecnología más allá de lo que creemos posible. Su currículum es realmente impresionante. Fíjense que en 2001 lideró el equipo que estableció el estándar global en 3D en el 98% de los dispositivos móviles del mundo. ¿Mm? Decir que realizó la marioneta digital en la BBC, ¿no es cierto?, el año 94, o que trabajó con la Armada Británica o con grandes empresas médicas, ¿no es cierto?, es hablar de la gran capacidad y la tecnología que domina Brian. Um, Brian es diseñador y aunque muy temprano, ¿no es cierto?, se metió en todo lo que tiene que ver, ¿no es cierto?, con la tecnología. Ha trabajado con marcas como Rolling Stones, uh, Living Color y está con nosotros, ¿no es cierto?, ahora en Brand Talking. Ah, Rolling Stone, Living Color, Brand Talking. Oh, yes, that's good. Bienvenido. <laughs> Thank you to be with us. Brian. Thank you for inviting me. Um, Brian, let me put some uh, context to our friends at home, okay? Uh, in October 13th, Uh, uh, the um, issue of the, uh, uh, the Cannabis Magazine says that Chile has what they call Chilicon Valley. <laughs> Chilicon okay. Valley. They said many countries have sought uh, to create their own versions of Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. Nearly all have failed, yet Chile's attempt is interesting because um, it exploits the original Silicon Valley's weak spot, America's awful Im immigration system. Okay, when the home of the free enterprise uh, turns away entrepreneurs, Chile welcome, welcomes them. Are you part of them? Uh, yeah, we're, we're working out of Makerspace at the moment, which is a great uh, community of very young people uh, trying to do new and interesting things. Uh, we started working with uh, one company, for example, down there called Backyard Brains, who are part of, of the yes. Startup Chile initiative. Uh -huh. And uh, there are a couple of neuroscientists that are trying to bring neuroscience Uh, experiments to children. Oh, to children. so yeah, Wonderful. very mm -hmm. complex mm -hmm. ideas, but uh, showing them how to do that in the in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So we've really obviously benefited from that because we've learned a lot from them, and it's a great community down there. Wonderful. And um, now, what are you doing here now? Now, in, I, I mean, in this uh, specific moment, uh, are you? Project. Uh, yes, which, which kind of projects are you? Well, we have a number of projects going, uh, going along. With, for example, tonight I'm working on a, a mind-controlled robotic hand. Uh, last month we were working on a mind-control where we're connecting a human brain with a cockroach leg. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Is it true? Of yeah. course our friends at home will not believe it. Will yeah. not believe it. So yeah. let me please just uh, uh, show them a video where you move the, the leg, you know? <laughs> uh, and, and after back, you will answer, okay, uh, some questions that we have, okay? Uh, unos minutos, vean por favor este video, es impresionante. Brian con su cabeza mueve cosas. Ahí está. Bueno, muchachos, ¿qué les parece wow. esa cosa? Pero impresionante, o sea, yo de verdad cuando me, me contaron y supe de lo que había hecho Brian, me quedé así como impresionado. El hombre cucaracha. Brian, 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 sí. please let us know. How do you do all this? You have uh, some stuff here and uh, you want to, to show us and uh, please explain us, please. 
Um, well, we, uh, we try and make the most out of technology that's already, already available. So this is a, an emotive epoch, which is a uh, EEG device that, that detects the neurons firing in your brain. So oh. it picks up the tiny amounts of electricity that's going on in your brain. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and what's interesting about this is that it's been around for a long time, but now this is like three hundred dollars. So oh, really? It's very much in in the uh, makerspace area where you can use these sort of things. Okay. So I'm just going to show you what we can capture from this. Please. Okay. Wonderful. Hey, camera, please. Esto, esto, esto sí que camera, es Okay, it'll just take me a little while to set up. Uh, yeah, Excuse I me. think that this one is not going good. Thank you. Okay. You're, you're a neuroscience <laughs> expert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're just getting the signals now from the brain. Uh, and as you can see, this black one here shows that I'm quite excited to be here. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, you. And you can see the different uh, things like frustration, meditation. These are the emotional states that we're detecting from the brain. Uh, we can also detect uh, other things like we can pick up the uh, signals that you're sending from your brain to your muscles in your eyes, on your mouth, things like that. So if you smile, Yo. you, you uh, can detect wow, that. Really? See, see. And you really smile? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually quite, this is too. more easy to detect than the other things because what, what you're happening is, is the electrical activity is traveling do, down into your face. Mm -hmm. So it's quite easy to pick that up. Oye, eh, mientras Brian está trabajando, mientras Brian está trabajando con la cabeza, sí. moviendo cosas, nosotros, <risa> nosotros tenemos que mover unos saluditos. ¿Ah? Y un, una mención especial a ese pañuelo maravilloso. Ah, Cuenta la historia de ese pañuelo. Mira, este pañuelo es fantástico porque en realidad, Bellísimo. obviamente, Pineda Cobalín, muchachos, este, ¿te fijas como yo voy cambiando de acuerdo a, a la vestimenta, al ah, verano? Te, te pusiste a... una polera, te relajaste, me relajaste un poquito, sí, señor. Oye, esto eh, se llama Tehuana. Eh, eh, sí, mexicano, por supuesto, la cultura mexicana sí. presente oh, nuevamente en Pineda Cobalina, así que lo pueden venir a ver acá al W, que eh, es eh, donde estamos, ah, está, en nuestra casa, ya en nuestra casa. Y un saludo eh, amable a nuestros amables amigos de sappinglatan.com, eh, que están de aniversario este mes, cumplen siete años. Un saludo eh, súper afectuoso a Néstor, a la gente que trabaja ahí y bueno. Oye, y perdón, Eso. y perdón, y un abrazo también a quien hace posible también este, esta, estas filmaciones, estas producciones. Nuestro amigo de Geoimagen. Sí, Geoimagen, oye, un abrazo muy grande, ¿no es cierto? Y muchachos, siguen así, lo estamos haciendo a la raja. <laughs> Just uh, one, one question before you show us uh, uh, more, more experiments. Um, is this part of the neuromarketing or neuro, um, I don't know, what's science. the name? Uh, neuroscience? Science, neuroscience, that you use your brain and sometimes you know, you you can you can understand how people perform because of the the way this uh, synapses uh, is going on so yeah, i mean the the hardware we can use for all sorts of different things the the overall aim of of thinker thing the company that i founded was to produce the interfaces to the mind for doing all sorts of things oh, wonderful. one of the things that we can do for example is we can link this also with eye tracking okay, so we wonderful. can see where people are looking at uh -huh. and understand and link the emotional response to people as they're looking at certain aspects of an advertising campaign wonderful. or something like that. It's a of the, of the examples, uh, to make the network marketing use. Yeah, no? it's, but uh, how we approach things is we take hardware that already exists and okay. then write software for it to get the most out of it. So yeah. all the software is uh, developed by you? Yeah, we develop the software. We wonderful. buy off-the-shelf hardware and get the most out of it. A lot of people look at a new piece of technology and go, wow, that's incredible, and they, they get a bit lost with the technology. Sure. We apply software and put technology together to get even more out of it. For example, like the, the neuro, neuro information uh -huh. and the eye tracking is a very powerful true, tool. Wonderful. Imagine also then linking that to a piece of software that could change the shape of something, like so if you're looking at uh, some shoes or something like that, and we actually change the shape of the shoe over time in dynamic time, see where you're looking at and also know the emotions that you're having whilst you're seeing that and which you prefer not. It's incredible. Ah, uh, future, future here. El futuro está aquí, muchachos. You would like to show us something that you can move without uh, here, here, in, in, in el W, aquí. Eh, Brian nos va a mostrar un, algo que va a mover con uh, el poder de su mente. Well, obviously, a lot of our experiments are very complex, so I brought this very simple one along just to show you the basic concept. Okay. This, 
Okay, this is uh, just a little server that we're controlling via my mind now. So I'm now going to try and control it by mapping the thoughts that I have when I have certain facial expressions okay. to okay. movement on the actual server. <laughs> oh, so this is? Uh, I'm, I'm mapping uh, the movement that okay. I'm sending to my to my mouth okay. to an open and close, but I'm also taking the blinks from my eyes. So it just picked up a, a change in the movement of my mouth. So I'm sending a signal from my brain to the shape of my mouth that it recognizes. Okay. So for example, I'm going to try now blinking uh, different numbers, and the amount of times I blink gives you a different number. Well. Okay. <laughs> And open and uh, and close. Uh, there we go. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> wow! So I'll try again. I'll do a short number. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Wonderful. It's a very simple example, but it no, shows no, you. Please, please relax. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, you have. Uh, tú tienes una sí, yo, yo quería hablar un poquito del propósito que tiene de traer a Brian acá. Lo voy a hablar en español a nuestro a nuestro web webidentes. Eh, tiene que ver básicamente con, la, con el atrevimiento, ¿no? The daring attitude. Hace un, un programa, unos dos programas atrás hablamos de neuromarketing, hablamos del cerebro, hablamos de, de, de esta capacidad de poder eh, descubrir nuestras emociones en, en el cerebro que queda registrada. ¿no? Eh, pero hoy día estamos viendo una, un experimento, estamos viendo un, una creatividad, estamos viendo, lo estamos viendo en acción. Eh, Brian ha creado un software, ha creado todo esto por una actitud, ¿ah? una actitud creativa. La pregunta que quiero hacerle tiene que ver con el diseño, ¿no? tiene que ver un poquito con la actitud y el atreverse a creer, a crear, ¿no? a crear derechamente. Lo voy a hacer en inglés, voy a leerlo, perdón, porque mi inglés <laughs> es medio pobre, ¿no? To get your job done, you need discipline and goals. No? A lot of creativity and knowledge. You come from the world of, of the design. How do you see the de develop, development of creativity in Chile from the point of view of there to do it yourself? Uh, well, Obviously, with, with doing the mobile phones in, in 2000, we, we ended up working with pretty much everyone in the mm -hmm. world. And I was working with some Chileans in, in uh, Barcelona for some time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I find the Chilean people very creative. Uh, I, if there was one criticism, I don't think they believe in themselves as much. Okay. But it's a very talented uh, group of people here. And particularly the, the young people I'm working with are very uh, hungry yeah. for producing something new here. So it's a new generation that is hungry yeah. and, uh, it, and uh, trying to invent or to create or whatever. Absolutely, it reminds me a lot of, of Barcelona just after the um, just after the Olympics. Ah, oh yes, and yes, there was this amazing that. feeling of we can do something and we're going somewhere, and, well, and it, it, it produced an incredibly creative area, you know. So, and so hope, hope. I think there's a great hope for Chile here. I okay. really do. There are a great bunch of people I'm working with at the moment. Uh, very imaginative. Uh, just uh, uh, the last question for my side, uh, at least. Um, you are now in a project called The Monster Dreamer. Yes. Please tell us about what are you doing in that. Well, The Monster Dreamer is the first of our uh, Objects from Thought uh, okay. project. And it sounds rather grand, but hopefully we're showing you some of the other crazy stuff that you might have a little belief in us. But what we want to do is to be able to create a real physical object okay. uh, with just the power of your mind. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ciencia ficción. Okay. <laughs> it sounds crazy. A lot of people, first reaction, don't believe it's possible. But the technology to do that is already possible. There's home printers now that are very cheap. The headset I showed you, very cheap again. So really what's just missing is the software to link that technology but how, together. But how do you do it? Is, is it like you invent a, a toy or something? You, you are, we're starting with a monster because everyone knows what a monster is, but okay. it can literally be anything. Okay. Yeah? And what we wanted to do is produce something uh, where we could take it to school kids around Chile and see okay. what monsters they produce. You know, uh, We want to remove the difficulty in creating something. Okay. We want to make it just completely easy to make something just with your mind. So how we do that is we evolve a 3D model over time by detecting your response, your emotional response okay. to uh, evolve, evolving changes of a 3D model. And in this wow. way you can actually design uh, 
very easily uh, a professional looking model that you would normally need like 20 years training to, to understand how to do. Impresionante. Brian, <laughs> of course we are short of time. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Señores, esto es lo que viene. Esto no es solamente lo que está haciendo Brian para la, uh, sus propios proyectos y su creación de los uh, software, sino que la comunicación, imagínense cómo va a cambiar la comunicación, cómo va a cambiar el marketing, cómo va a cambiar la publicidad, las relaciones públicas, los PDL, todo lo que diría, se Yo no diría mucho de lo que viene, estamos en esto. Uh, uh, Hoy bueno. día en Santiago de Chile tenemos Santiago Makerspace, que es un espacio maravilloso, donde se juntan a crear eh, modelos eh, científicos. Y viene una feria. Y ahí viene una feria que es la Minifair. Que, eh, ¿Minifair? Sí. Se llama Minifair. Sí. Que se da en, en varios lados del mundo, con mucho éxito. Donde vienen estos, eh, en, entre artistas, científicos, artesanos de, de robótica, que de, con, con elementos muy rudimentarios a veces, crean cosas nuevas. Y esa es, lo, es la invitación, y esa es, es la idea de haber traído a Brian, que es un gran inspirador para eh, tener una actitud creativa, tener una actitud de usar realmente bien las tecnologías y atreverse, por favor. Y esto no es solamente en el, en el, en el área del arte o en el área de la ciencia, es también en nuestra, área. Obvio en que nuestra sí. profesión. Hace harta falta atreverse, chicos, por favor. Acá tenemos un gran inspirador que ha optado por estar en Chile para desarrollar su trabajo, lo que nos, da, nos debería dar un gran orgullo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Brian. very much, Brian, Good to being class. here. And, uh, y nosotros nos vemos la próxima semana con buenos invitados, buenas conversaciones. Ah, acuérdense, brandtalking.cl y zappinglatan.com. Escríbanos, díganos lo que opinan, qué es lo que quieren, etcétera, porque de verdad eh, estamos para eso. Un abrazo, muchas nos gracias. Vemos. gracias. Chao, chao. Bye bye, Brian. Thank you.